Hello, hello, folks. We are starting today what I like to call the perfect Austin day at 7 a.m. Come along for the ride and I'll show you what it is. Good morning from downtown. Good morning as Austin finest food trucks for coffee and donuts is there. You see it's a very, very, very crowded time at Barton Springs. Can't wait to take you inside and jump in this pool because it's already 90 degrees and humid out here. Greenbelt. In beautiful Zilker Park for the crown jewel. Welcome to Barton Springs. 7 a.m. Texas Longhorns game day for a night game, which is, uh, can't beat it. Built. In beautiful Zilker Park for the crown jewel. Welcome to Barton Springs. 7 a.m. Texas Longhorns game day for a night game which is, uh, can't beat it. And now we get to walk home and get coffee. It's 7.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day after that refreshing swim that really shocks the system. So it's not exactly a cold plunge, but Barton Springs is always about 68 to 70 degrees. So when it's 90 and humid and your body's all warm outside, it, it can be a nice shock to the system. As we continue to walk on our beautiful Barton Creek, which uh, by this afternoon, as you can see by the rope swings, will be full of a lot of swimmers, a lot of paddle boarders, and a lot of people uh, jumping and, and running. So you can feel the vibe in the air. It is Longhorns game day. Hook em. The next part of the perfect game day is the great Central Texas icon. Marikoff, San Antonio, they love the Longhorns too. Just a few thoughts as we enjoyed Sea Home downtown here. Just a few thoughts about 12 hours from kickoff as we sit down and enjoy coffee before the brisket and the pretzels and the beer and all that gets devoured. Today's game, interesting day as we record as Arch Manning takes the field for what is a very, very uh, good tune up for him as he needs to. Prepare to be a starting QB, not just someone who comes in uh, in emergency situations or mop-up duty. Uh, Louisiana Monroe seems better than UTSA. The program seems to be going in a much better direction um, compared to where they were with Terry Bowden. Um, like uh, like the 2-0, like the fact that they beat UAB, who gave Arkansas all they can handle. So um, Longhorns have guys hurt they're going to want to rest those guys going into sec play and then a bye before the, the two weeks that are going to define their season um but what i'm really interested what i always say in these games um especially with their running back situation um it's time for the guys at the bottom of the barrel to finally get some touches you can't be giving Jarrett gibson 20 carries a game heading into sec play or really the first half of the season kind of like how they brought cj baxter along last year would love to see Wisner and Blue barely play at all this game. And we'd love to get the bottom three RBs in there. So as you hear the train here, that Seahome, that old power plant still has uh, a so. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how this game kind of plays out. I always say these games, they need to do what they did against UTSA last week. You have six wide receivers come out using short passes as an extension of your run game and come out firing and uh, run your day one offense. Um, and then cruise on healthy to Mississippi State for the first ever SEC game at UKR next week. But tonight's going to be electric. Um, average ticket price to get in as of this morning is still about $80 for a game that the Longhorns are going to win handedly. Um, and for a school that there is not exactly a large alumni base. So um, should be a good time. Uh, for the fans, and uh, hopefully everyone stays healthy. Hopefully Arch does his thing, and uh, hook him. Good morning, as Austin finest food trucks for coffee and donuts is there. You see it's a very, very, very crowded time at Barton Springs. Can't wait to take you inside and jump in this pool because it's already 90 degrees and humid out here. All right, so I'm coming up over downtown. Beautiful game day, and of course, can't see it, but it's a brisket sandwich from Stubbs. Gotta love it. And of course, you gotta get the game day workout in. 
with Bobby Burton and the guys. Shout out on Texas football. Orange Bloods and on three, you're great too, but it's the best way. Got the coffee going over there. Got the gym going, got the pool coming after. Got Barton Springs there and uh, ain't no better way to get it going. take a minute to shout out the folks at uh, Waste Connections over here. Waste Connections, great uh, trash company. And if you want to come by their tailgate, they've got the best barbecue and uh, any beer, any water, so do you want. Just come over and say hi and uh, enjoy the games with them. They got all the games on before and after the game, but uh, right over here, just across, just to give you uh, from San Yak on MLK, the they got a porta potty out there. What else could you want? Go and give those guys a visit. They're the most generous, coolest guys. And if you want to hang out with them and tailgate, it's all you need to do. They'll give you a plate and they'll give you some drinks and you'll have a good night. 2.30. Arrive to work. Commute over. And uh, end up Evo Boulevard. Uh, on the way to our gate to get in. Which I can't tell you what it is. Kind of the main event of Evo Boulevard, pre-game concerts and post-game concerts right here on the LBJ lawn where the Tito's tailgate is. It's always a great time. Hope to see you out soon. Growing on me is my favorite sporting venue. I'm biased. I'm biased. I'm biased, but this place is starting to grow on me as my favorite sporting venue. Tell you what, fellas, you set up a ring right there at the 50 yard line, 100,000 strong here, WrestleMania, it would uh, go boom. And then I'll, yeah. Let's see. Visiting team is coming on in, coming on in Louisiana Monroe. They look like they don't want to be. Never in my life have I seen a team get to the stadium, go back to the locker room, and then make a circle around Texas's field. I don't gamble. I wasn't going to gamble on this game, but I think Texas ain't going to like this too much, and I might. If I were you guys, I might lay the 47 points. I've never seen a team in my life do this here, ever. It's gonna piss Texas off a lot, right around their logo. Damn. Guy, this freaking kick went all the way freaking back here. All right, work. Shout out, work. Hey. chapter of what it's like to be a day. 
Texas Longhorn Security Guard. Perfect game day. Again, another dominant win. You got to hope that uh, the soft schedule of home games, Texas, doesn't get too complacent, but you can never really complain too much about a 51-3 win where there were no injuries. Um, Arch, uh, a lot of deep passes that uh, didn't connect with, but can't really complain about his first start. Um, it seems like this Texas quarterback group gets one bad interception a game, which is completely, completely normal. Um, other than that, Mississippi State, at least it'll be league. It'll be a little harder. And uh, looking forward to uh, the next Saturday at this time. And the SEC officially plays going into the bye week. One last thing, I just love this time of night when we have these night games. They, uh, they're so peaceful. The stadium is so loud. It's so raucous. It's it's so uh, excitement. It's high impact. And then you just stand right in the middle of the 50-yard line and just look around and kind of take it all in at the place that they spent, uh, spent 100 years here playing ball. Right here at that 50-yard line. To me, this is the home of the national.